Hello everybody, this is Joe Krug from FinSuite and welcome to my day one submission for CloneComp. In this video, we'll be going over what you can use for day two to do something unique and interesting with JavaScript. We will be learning jQuery's clone method. The clone method is essentially like a copy in copy paste. So we'll be learning how to clone and append to, which is just like copy and pasting. So we'll copy and paste elements, we'll clone them, we will grow our civilization with just a little bit of JavaScript. All right, let's jump into this and learn what this snippet is doing and how you can use it for day two. Okay, we have, first let's actually go and see how this works. We have our clone machine button and when I go and click it, we're going to clone items inside of our cloning bank. And let's go and check out Inspector here. You'll notice that we have one, or one, two, three, four items here. That's it, it's on the page. Now when I go and press my clone machine button, we're actually creating more items inside the DOM. We are adding these items and creating them from nothing. That's what a clone is. So that's what we're doing. Now let's go through line by line and make sure we understand how this works. We'll go back in Designer and we'll first go and look at the cloning machine button class click. We have our cloning machine button. That class is right here, our cloning machine button. And on click of that button, we're going to run a function. And that function is going to target the clone me ID. The clone me ID is given to this first cloned item class. And if we go to settings, we'll see an ID of clone me. We are then going to remove the data attribute ID from that cloned item. And then we're going to append to or paste that cloned item into the cloning bank. And the cloning bank is this class right here. So we click this, we're going to copy this item, remove the ID, and then paste it into the cloning bank. That is a clone. So now let's, let's talk about why we are removing the data attribute. Let's go and look into Inspector here. We have this ID, clone me. All of these other ones don't have that ID. It just has the class. Why? Because we don't want a ton of elements all with the same ID on the page. That's not good web practice. We don't want 50 items all with the same ID. Not good. So we are removing the ID in the process. Think of it as cloning something genetically modifying it and then going to put it in the cloning bank. So that's what we're doing here. Let's go into custom code here. Let's make sure we understand this actually working inside page settings. So this is the last script inside the body and we are targeting that cloning machine button on click, we're going to run a function. We're going to target the clone me button. We're going to copy it or clone it. We're going to remove that data attribute of ID and we're going to append to or paste to the cloning bank. If you need a second instance of this, maybe you want to clone two different types of things. Maybe you take from day one, you're cloning the happy people and the Webflow users. You can set up a second instance very easily by just creating a duplicate of everything with a duplicate class naming system. Notice how all these have a dash two at the end. So this is day two, the setup, being able to clone. I'd love for you to ask me about this. If you are going to use my day one clonable for day two, please send me a message, tell me your idea, let's chat about it, see how we can help, how I can help, um, and yeah, I'd, I'd love to see some creativity here with cloning. Enjoy and happy clone comp.